today I'm here with a nail polish declutter. I know I did one of these last year, but things have gotten out of control again. I've got about 130 nail polishes. I'm hoping to cut that at least in half because your girl only has so many nails. And I don't talk about nail polish a lot on my channel, but I do love it, wear it all the time, love painting my nails. I do it like at least twice a week, but still, it's too much. I will be donating these to friends and family. Some of them are old polishes that just need to get the boot all together. So let's go ahead and get started. her glory. Um, it's really surprising when I take all of these out of the baskets because I basically wear light pinks and light blues, occasionally gray my nails. So I really want to cut this collection down by like 60%. I'd like to be able to fit it all in one of these baskets. And if you're wondering where these are from, these are from Dollarama. And if you're wondering what is on my nails, um, it is Blue La La from Essie's new summer collection. Kicking it off with the greens, I know that this polish is way too old. It's from Forever 21 in the shade Jelly Bean. This is in the shade So Psyched from Essie, and this is just too old, and this is not a shade I'll wear. When it comes to greens, I generally reach for a mint green. So this is the shade Cha-Ching, and this is Neely. I'm actually gonna get rid of Neely and keep Cha-Ching because it's just slightly brighter. I have two kind of sagey greens here. Um, Pretty Cool Life from Essence, what a silly name, and Jade Imperial from YSL. So I'm gonna ditch the Essence just because YSL, but this formula is amazing. These are kind of blues, but anyways. Um, this is the shade Diva Satin Sister, Viva Antigua, and Take a Walk. I'm gonna keep Viva Antigua. I think it's a pretty interesting shade. And I'm also gonna keep Satin Sister, although it's getting a little bit messed up, but that's just because they sit in there and they don't get a ton of use, and these two will go because I'm just not gonna wear them. Moving on to reds, which I really don't wear much of. I do not like the way it looks on my nails. Roses are red, Beauty Marked, and Party on a Platform. I'm I'm only going to keep Beauty Marked. I love the formula of the Essie Gel Couture, and I just want to have one red in my collection. Then I have some kind of deeper shades, Bordeaux, Splendor from Dior Holiday, and 862 from Inglot. I'm going to keep the Revlon, because it's a little bit of a deeper shade. Not totally sure if I'm going to get a ton of use out of it, but it's a nice fall shade, but these two will go. So we have the Essie Ready to Boa, Burberry Black Cherry, William Tell Me About OPI, and Dior Skyline. I'm going to keep all three of these, because I think this is a really interesting shade. I'm gonna have to try it again, um, but this one I just, it's too brown. I'm not gonna wear it, but it is pretty. Some yellows and golds. This is Mellow Yellow and Aim to Misbehave from Essie. This one is Sally Hansen. Then also from Essie, we have Getting Groovy. This one is Glimmer from um, Avon. I love this shade, but I think it's too close to my skin tone and I'm not gonna wear it. Same with this Essie. I just, I don't love metallic polishes. I really prefer something cream, but I'm gonna keep these two yellow. So if you like any one of these shades, I think they could totally be dupes for each other, Zoya Cole, Dior 432, and Essence um, Ice Cream Party. I'm going to keep all three of these. I know they're kind of similar, but I do get wear out of these shades. Two really bright neons, Orly Mayhem Mentality and Quo by Orly in the shade Pop Culture. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Orly one just because I've had it for longer, but they are both really nice. Some kind of corally colors here, Vivid Sunset, First Kiss, and Coral Blossom. Is it Coral Blossom? Yes, it is so hard. I'm trying to like memorize the shades before I tell you, but it's, I've had to do it over and over and over again. Anyways, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I do like it, but I know my friend Shell loves it and she's about to run through hers so she can have that. That's for you, girl. And then from Sally and Mary Kay, I am going to ditch one of them. I'm gonna keep the Mary Kay. On to some kind of lavender shades. This is Luminous Mauve. This is an Avon uh, Multi Benefit BB nail polish, which doesn't have a name on it. And then this is Hello Marshmallow. I really like all three of these, so I'm going to keep all three. I shouldn't, though. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this one because I've had it for a while. Okay? Got ColourPop in the shade 1004. I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it. China Glaze Dance Baby. And this is from Mary Kay. It's in the shade Brilliant. 
Violet, gonna get rid of Brilliant Violet. Again, Shell, you can have that one. I'm gonna keep Dance Baby, I love it. I'm also gonna keep this one. So from MAC, I have Like My Gown. From Essie, I have Big Spender. The Antidote from Quo and Feels Like a Birthday from Essence. I'm gonna get rid of all three of these and keep the MAC. These kind of shades I also don't love on myself. So I have a Coral Reef, Buried Treasure, Ginger Melon, and Coral Me Crazy. Keeping Coral Me Crazy for sure, I love this shade. Um, I also really like Ginger Melon, so I'm gonna keep that and get rid of these two. Three more pretty bright pinks. This one is actually deceiving on the bottle. It's uh, in the shade Surfer Girl, Susie Nails New Orleans. That's a little dirty. And from Sally, this is in the shade OMG. This shade is actually closer to this. It's a very hot pink, but a little bit paler. So I'm gonna keep actually all three of these because I wear a lot of pink. This is where it gets tough because these are some of my favorite kind of colors to wear, these light pinks. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but this shade is actually almost gone. It's in the shade Demange Après Midi from L'Oreal. So obviously keeping it and will repurchase. Uh, C and D be demure. Uh, I'm going to keep it. This is in the shade Pink Dazzle from Avon. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep this one, hold the position from Essie. As I mentioned, I love this formula. So I really wanted to just be able to fill this standing up with nail polish. Um, and that's all I kept. This is where we are so far. So I might need to go through again and like declutter what I think I'm keeping. So we have it's Pink PM, Ballerina, and a Florable. Gonna keep these two gonna ditch this one because I've got similar ones and I don't love this formula from OPI. So here we have uh, Rehab, Minimal, Lace Me Up, and another one of the Avon BBs. Gonna get rid of these two in the middle because I don't really care for the formula and I'm gonna keep these two. Here we have Tickled Pink from Sally Hansen, 262 from Dior, Sheer Fantasy from Essie, and then this guy is actually from a set from Dollarama. This is gonna go because I do not like it. This one's gonna go because it's just slightly too sheer for me, but it is a beautiful polish if you like that kind of thing in a sheer formula, and I'm gonna keep these guys. So we have Pink Magnolia, which it's not pink, but anyways. <laughs> we have Mademoiselle, Satin Slipper, and So Me. I'm gonna keep them all, ah! I have a bunch of gray essence, apparently. These are the same. It's Blue Symphony, Gray Zone, Steel the World. Gonna get rid of Steel the World for sure because I just don't like anything metallicized. I'm actually gonna get rid of these two as well. Um, I prefer this formula and I kind of like this color a little better. So I only have a couple white nail polishes, but I really do like it. I'm gonna keep Zoya Snow White. I'm gonna keep this Burberry one. I'm gonna keep the black on black from Sinful Colors. It's the only black I own. And I'm gonna get rid of this one here from Essie. So I've got a couple of grays here. I have Roll the Dice and Sweet Lilac. I actually really like both of these. Roll the Dice has a bit of a green shift to it. This is Go With the Flowy from Essie's new collection or a collection from a couple months ago. And then this one is in the shade Closing Night and I'm gonna keep all of them. So here I have a Color Club 1010. It's a really nice cement shade, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, Revlon Italian Leather is super unique. I'm gonna keep it, but I am gonna get rid of Smoke and Mirrors from Revlon. I really love it, but I just felt like the wear wasn't that good on it. Moving to blues, which are some of my favorite to wear on my nails. I know I've said that a few times. These two are going to go from Dollarama. Do not like them. I'm going to hold on to this one from Essie. It is in the shade Surrounded by Studs. This is in the shade Loot the Booty by Essie. Uh... I'm gonna get rid of it. I mean, I haven't reached for it this far. So this kind of shade, including the one that I'm wearing, is my favorite favorite to wear. I'm keeping every single one of these because I love them and get tons of wear out of them. Um, this is Mary Kay New Blue. This is from Berry M in the shade Blueberry. And then this is a Wet n Wild putting on airs. So I have a few more blues here. This one is from BioSilk and I got it um, in PR, but this is in the shade St. John's, which is the city that I'm from, but I've literally never reached for them because they're supposed to be cured in the sun. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. Um, this is the beloved Pacific Blue before they change the formula. So keeping that. These two blues I'm definitely keeping. We have very first and perfect posture. I wore this on vacation in February and it lasts so long. I am gonna get rid of this one here from Orly. So these three shades I'm gonna get rid of. This is a Sephora Betty Johnson collection from years ago. I've literally had it for five years and I love it, but it's just so old. Then I have Burberry Stone and the Urban Decay Tees. The formula on this was amazing. It had such fabulous wear. I just hated the color on my nails, unfortunately. So I have Smoky Plum, Smokin' Hot, and 504. I'm gonna get 
rid of these two. I do really like them, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear them. So I've got a few more here, continuing on in the nude category. I've got At The Bar from Essie. It is so hard switching between the words Essie and Essence. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time. Um, the Nude by Essence. Avon, this one doesn't have a name on it, nor does this one. This one I'm definitely getting rid of because it's just like, it's basically my skin tone, so it doesn't look very good. Um, I'm gonna keep the Avon, get rid of the Essence, and then this one I'm gonna keep and try. Again, it looks like it's kind of close to my skin tone, but I'm so obsessed with this formula, so I will keep it and try it out. So here I have Oh Behave, So In Love, Pretty Little Thing, Speak Easy, and T Rose. Definitely keeping T Rose from Burberry. I loved this one. I'm gonna keep this Orly one too gonna get rid of these two and then this one I'm gonna keep because it's kind of unique it's got like gold running through it I normally don't love that but I like it in this one we are almost done just a few glitters to go through I'm not gonna go through my top coats I think I'm gonna do a video on like top coats and bases that I really love so let me know if you're interested in that three that I know I'm keeping this is from Dior holiday it's so pretty and subtle it just like adds a nice flaky look and it isn't too out there this one from essence I'm also keeping it's like a, a gold and then this is actually from urban outfitters and I've got it on sale for like 99 cents what a deal so here i have a 233 from inglot inglot all the flutter from china glaze um satin night this one is from color club i think and then deborah Lippman in the shade ray of light i actually got this in a top box like 100 years ago um, i'm gonna keep the inglot one because i don't own anything like it i also do like this china glaze one it was from their feather collection which i thought was cool but i am gonna get rid of these two okay so this is what is staying this is what is going i just did the math i I have about 56 going and 62 staying so about 45% um, cut down. I wanted to do like 65, so I'm gonna do one last little pass over this guy and see if I can sacrifice a few. Sorry, boys. These ones are gonna be going even though they were in my keep pile. I freaking love the bottle of these and they're scented and I do love this color, but I just haven't been reaching for it, so I don't think I'm gonna be sad if it's not in my collection. So there you have it. That is my declutter. I think I did okay probably could have done better let me know if you'd like to see more nail polish related things on my channel be it favorite base coats top coats all that good stuff i will not be showing you anything where i'm painting my nails most likely because i'm not that good at it i've done it a few times <laughs> but it's scary. So if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.